Matt Boynes is uh, Vice President for Heritage. Uh, he's back there. Wave to everybody. Wave to everybody. We also have uh, Penny Ferguson, who is our Vice President for Research. Uh, Becky Nelson is our Secretary and Treasurer. And uh, other board members who are here include uh, Cleveland Thorpe, uh, Kathy Lighty Lee, Beverly Walker, uh, Kathy James, uh, Terry Adams, Back in the back. <laughs> yes, uh, Johnny Ray, uh, Roberta Estes, and Kevin Mullins. <laughs> Have we, have we have I missed any board members who snuck in on us here? Well, I want to welcome everyone to, to this uh, conference. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of uh, good information to today, and uh, I hope you'll, you'll find it uh, both entertaining and informative. Uh, in, the, uh, in the back, uh, we have uh, copies of uh, my book, A Walk Into the Sunset, and uh, you know, I once heard an author say that the uh, secret of a successful book is uh, picking a topic in which everyone is interested. So naturally, I chose uh, one of the smallest and least known ethnic groups in mm -hmm. America to write about. Uh, but interest in this group has been growing over the past decade, and new research is being conducted all the time, and that's really what uh, the London Historical Society is all about. Uh, we are uh, we're involved in research and documenting uh, the history of the Melungeons. Now, uh, many of you are here because you know you know uh, about the Melungeons, you know something about the Melungeons, or maybe you're just curious about the Melungeons. Uh, the Melungeons have been part of Appalachian folklore for many, many years. Uh, in fact, uh, they've been a part of folklore for so long that uh, many people believe that uh, Melungeons are, uh, are actually a, a bit of a, a folklore, uh, sort of a legend uh, in Appalachia. Uh, I saw a TV presentation one time where uh, uh, they were asking people about Melungeons and uh, got some very strange answers. Of, you know, we're eight feet tall and uh, living in caves or living in trees or something like that. And uh, when I uh, when I first uh, met my wife, I think it was about our second date. Uh, she asked me about my ethnic heritage, and I said uh, I'm a Melungeon. And she gave me a look like I'd said leprechaun. Uh, she, did, she didn't believe there was any such thing. And uh, I'm still working on trying to convince her that, uh, that we are actually real. It's a word that uh, was, uh, was imposed upon us uh, years ago. And uh, it was uh, considered an insult. It was, uh, it was an ethnic slur. And uh, it's one of those, in, in one of those strange twists of history, we've kind of turned that around and we wear the name with pride now, and uh, it's uh, it, it's something that uh, uh, there there have been a lot of uh, a lot of stories that have gone around, uh, particularly in the last uh, 15, 20 years. Uh, a lot of information has come out. A lot of misinformation has come out, and uh, that's one of the things that uh, we hope to clear up. Today.